this is the point. We're going to have some fun today. Do you guys know why I asked this question? What is released by the post-ganglions of the parasympathetic nervous system? This is just basic physiology. We haven't even started on the actual pharmacology. For ourselves, hybrid learning means that we give our lecturers and our students the opportunity to create spaces where knowledge is shared um, in different ways um, and that the, the, and knowledge is shared and, and teaching happens within different fora, within different uh, 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 contexts um, and on different platforms. We actually teach clinical associates and clinical associates are a group of healthcare professionals and what we do is because our program is actually very decentralized so only our first year students spend a lot of time actually in the classroom. The other years, the second and the third years are actually away from, um, from campus most of the time so they're in clinical work so what we needed to do is we actually needed to have a, a, a learning platform where students can access information when they need to where we can um, assess them from a decentralized position so we use a lot of hybrid things I put a lot of I source a lot of um, videos um, lecture videos videos on how to do procedures things like that and I put them on click up for them a friend told me about this course and how practical it is and because I'm such a practical learner I learn with my hands it immediately it made sense for me to come and do this course. The hybrid learning, it's working very, very, very well for me. It combines your, your theory, your practice and everything, it puts everything together. We've also tried some doing some collaborative stuff, but a lot of our students, because they come from rural areas, a lot of them have difficulty sometimes with, you know, a lot of the technology stuff. So if I haven't actually seen them in the classroom and taught them how to use the stuff in the classroom, sometimes it's difficult to do that. To use Hybrid learning works really well because um, you get to learn by yourself. Uh, the online helps you with giving videos and things which you could never actually get by yourself. There's a reason why I left those little arrows there. What do you see? There's so much out there that you can use, you know, electronically, but I think you really have to be in that space where you're willing to try something. And you have to understand that sometimes it's not gonna work. And if it doesn't work, it's not a train smash. You just try something else the next day and see if it works. Hybrid learning is very, very effective when it comes to the career side of things or to the clinical settings of things where we have to be at the hospitals. Mainly because when you are in the hospitals, we, you get to, you have to learn by yourself. So today you see a procedure in the hospital, you go and check on the system, how, how is it done, what are the implications, indications, contraindications of that, and then you get to ask questions as well. It actually allows you to give the students the ability to learn in different ways. If you can use different modes just by accessing stuff, either from the internet or even creating your own stuff, you have more success with the students because I can put the same content in different ways and the students can pick, you know, what works best for them.